my name is Todd Moldauer and I'm a fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute in Van Nuys, California. Today I'm going to be discussing the lumbar spine and fusions of the lumbar region. The lumbar spine consists of five bones known as lumbar vertebrae that support the torso and connect the thoracic area with the pelvis. In between the bones of the lumbar spine are discs which are cushions that allow us to twist and turn and bend in various directions. Within the spinal canal, which is an arch formed by the bones of the lumbar spine, are the lumbar nerve roots. And these travel from the tip of the spinal cord down into the legs, the bowel and the bladder, and allow these structures to function. The lumbar region, commonly called the low back, consists of five bones called vertebrae, labeled L1 through L5. This is the main weight-bearing section of the spinal column. Between each bone is a cushion called the disc, and behind the discs are the spinal nerves which go into the legs, the bowel, and the bladder. A lumbar fusion is a surgical procedure intended to cause two or more bones of the low back to grow together into one solid structure. Many painful conditions of the lumbar spine have been successfully treated by this procedure. A lumbar fusion can be performed from the back, from the side, from the front through the belly, or a combination of approaches. To keep the bones from moving while they are attempting to heal together, many fusion procedures involve metal screws and rods which provide temporary stability until the fusion heals. There are certain conditions of the lumbar spine which result in instability, including a condition with a long name called spondylolisthesis. This even occurs in adolescents from 8 to 14 years of age. Most spinal fusions, however, are done in adults who have painful conditions from arthritis, scoliosis, or previous trauma. Injuries to the lumbar spine can be divided into two categories, high energy and low energy. High energy injuries include car accidents, falls off of ladders and rooftops, and auto pedestrian traumas. Low energy injuries would be related to slip and fall injuries, lifting injuries, twisting injuries, and other similar incidents. Injuries to the low back can also occur through wear and tear, known as cumulative trauma. Patients should seek medical care immediately for low back pain if it's associated with weakness, numbness, or bowel or bladder dysfunction. In cases where back pain doesn't improve after a week or two, consulting with a physician can establish a correct diagnosis and allow an appropriate treatment plan to be instituted. Following a lumbar fusion, patients can expect an initial loss of flexibility However, with an appropriate rehabilitation program, most patients lose little, if any, flexibility. Some fusion patients are protected in a post-operative brace. However, the post-operative protocol will be highly dependent on the type of fusion performed and other factors. The post-operative protocol will vary widely depending on the type of fusion and need for restriction of spinal mobility after the surgery. With some fusions, a post-operative brace is worn for several months to protect and immobilize the lumbar spine. While in other cases a brace isn't necessary, activity is usually restricted until the fusion has healed and at that time a decision is made regarding post-operative physical therapy. Choosing a physician for surgical or non-surgical care of a spinal condition is a very important decision and patients should take the time to determine the background, experience, and professional reputation of the individual to whom they entrust their health care to. The physicians of the Southern California Orthopedic Institute have been providing the highest quality of medical care since 1979, and we are known nationwide for the outstanding care we provide to our patients and the many surgeons we've trained over the years that are practicing all over the United States. To learn more about the lumbar fusion, please log on to our website, www.scoi.com.